Hi, welcome to Take Tips and Take Stuff. My name is Ron, and today I want to show you how to solve possible crashing problems in Vegas Pro and problems importing MOV files in Movie Studio 17 Platinum uh, Build 204. Now, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more tutorials like this. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You're like my best friends. And guys, it's since it's Christmas time, if this helps you out, how about a small tip? There's a donation link below. Like just a buck will help me out and buy a cup of coffee, a cup of hot chocolate, because we're getting a pile of snow tomorrow. So, anyways, let's get on with the uh, tutorial here. So, <clears throat> uh, QuickTime by Apple is being phased out and it's full of security flaws. So, there is an alternative to it. Um, I emailed Magix a few weeks ago and it took them a week to get back to me. I told them uh, people running Movie Studio 17. Build 204 are having problems with MOV files not loading. Uh, wouldn't load MOV files anymore. And I misread their email. There was a line in there that says it would get a QuickTime alternative. So I have one here. I'll put this link in the description below. We can do it. So let's go through the download together. Let's download this. And the install together as well. So we get US download. Download here, right there. It's gonna take a while. This may prevent crashing in Vegas Pro as well. I use MLB files a lot in Vegas Pro, and it crashes every time I use them. So I'm pretty sure this could be the actual solution to your crashing problems in Vegas Pro. If you don't use uh, MLB files or QuickTime files in Vegas, then they probably won't work for you. So I'm saying it may solve your problems with Vegas Pro. It may or may not. Let's go through this install first. Uh, first of all, we have to uninstall. We have to uninstall QuickTime. Let's get QuickTime off this computer. QuickTime is notorious for security problems. That's why it's being phased out. And that's why you're seeing it under depreciated assets in Vegas Pro and Movie Studio now. Is because it's kind of on that chopping block. Let's run quick down here. Let's get rid of quick time. Yeah, they're predicting upwards of. Uh, 30 to 50 centimeters of snow in Alberta tomorrow. It's insane. Insane. Okay, so let's install, install this program here. Actually, guys, now I can install it first. Oh, I can't do it now. I wanted to show you how what was happening in Movie Studio. Movie Studio, you get an error. You try to import an uh, MOV file and you get an error. So let's just let's go ahead and install this program. Let me put Windows to finish here. Let's go back to Netscape or Firefox and um, QuickTime Alternative. You can't install this with QuickTime running. You have to quick, uh, click out of QuickTime. Make sure you install Media Player Classic as well. So install this. Test the shortcut. And I wanted to read MOV files and all of uh, all of um, anything QuickTime was associated before with. Okay, so here's a MOV file I got from Production Crate. Make sure you select Media Player Classic when looking at uh, MOV files, not other players on your system, because you want this is the one we just downloaded. So click OK, and it should be an explosion. Uh, 
That's a big explosion. I got 4K. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's fire up uh, movie studio. If this just solve the problems with Vegas Pro crashing, this is gonna be a big, uh, big deal here. Who's this? Let's stop. Explosion. Error. Yeah, not supported. Hmm, that's strange. Really, really strange. Let me try something here. Just right click. Properties. Ah, change. Open with Media Player Classic. There, now as you go. So you right click, open to me, open with Media Player, Media Player Classic. Now it should work. Still doesn't go in. Hi guys, it's Ron again. I took about a two, three hour break here, maybe longer. Uh, I got a message in, in to support as well, trying to figure out this MOV problem with Movie Studio Build 204. Um, I tried going under depreciated assets, restarting the program, nothing works. Um, what you could try doing, right click on the program, the file actually, if you haven't re removed QuickTime yet, go Properties, Open With, and select um, Media Player Classic, okay? I tried Windows Player, it didn't work. And I click, click OK. So actually, sorry, not Windows, not Media Player Classic. QuickTime, open it with QuickTime. And that should work. You may check your association of your other files in your computer so it didn't mess up any other files in your computer. But that won't work if you haven't removed QuickTime yet. It should work with 204. Um, so I have a message to support. When I get back, I'll let you know what's happening. Another way around this is to convert your MOVs to MPEG4, MP4. There's free programs all over the net. Do a Google, Google search. Look for MOV to MPEG4, MP4. And convert your project to MPEG4. Key it out uh, with uh, Chroma Cure. And that will solve your problem until this is fixed, if it gets fixed. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.